hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when origin is showing you a blank white screen or maybe the gray screen so here you can see when you launch origin if you see this kind of gray skin and you don't see any games or any images over here or you simply see a white screen over here like this then please follow the steps shown in this video now there are multiple steps so at the end of each step try to launch the origin if you still face the problem then move on to the next step so the first step is to restart your computer sometimes just restarting your pc takes care of the problem so go to the start menu then click on the power icon then click on restart and then try launching origin if that does not resolve the problem then delete the cache file so go to this path so open file explorer on your computer then click on this pc then go to c drive open c drive then go to your username so click on users then select your username then go to the view tab and here make sure that you have you have ticked the hidden item so make sure that you put a check on hidden items so that you can see the app data so you have to go to the app data open app data folder then go to local then go to origin folder open origin folder then again open the origin folder then go to cache open cache then go to qt web engine make a double click then open this default folder and here you will see the cache folder so make a right click and then click on delete now before you click on delete make sure that you close the origin in my case the origin was open that's why i was not able to delete so close it and make sure that it's not hidden so here you can see if i click on the up arrow i can see the origin i can make a right click and then click on quit origin and you can also check in task manager just make a right click on the taskbar and click task manager and here make sure that origin exe and origin web helper service.exe file is closed so if you find origin over here just make select it and then click on end task so once you close all the services related to origin then you can try again and it will go ahead and delete the folder here after closing the origin i was able to delete the folder then try to launch origin So it should connect to the origin and it will go ahead and that should fix the white screen or gray screen when you open origin. So so it may take couple of uh, seconds. So here I don't have any white or gray screen anymore. So if that does not resolve the problem, then delete the origin folder so for this you have to again close origin so if the origin you open close origin make sure that it's not hidden so make a right click then quit origin and then again go to the task manager so make a right click on taskbar then click on task manager then make sure that there is no origin services running so here i can see origin web helper and if you see origin exe or origin web help services just select the select the service then click on end task once you do that once you close origin go to this look uh, open this command so open run box just type in run in windows search box and click on run or make a right click on the start menu and here you will see the run option or you can simply press window plus r so press the window key on the keyboard along with that press the letter r and then you will be able to see the run box paste the command over here i provided the command in the video description so you can get it from there so it's percentage program data percentage slash origin and then click on ok and then delete all the files and folders in origin folder except for the local content folder so here you can find local folder do not delete this folder 
so you have to keep this folder because if you delete this local content you will lose all the uh, install game like all the game progress will be lost so do not delete this local content so make sure that you delete rest of the folder so i am selecting above local content i am selecting all the folder then i am clicking on delete now again just below the local content i am selecting all the folder and then i am deleting everything except the local content so i have left local content so do that and then go to the app data command so to open this app data again open the run box and then type in percentage app data percentage app data percentage and click on okay now here you have to delete the origin folder inside the roaming folder so here you will uh, we are under the roaming and here you can see the origin folder so you have to delete the origin folder inside the roaming folder we are already in roaming folder and here you can see the origin so make a right click and then click on delete so it's deleted now delete the origin folder inside the local folder now you have to click on app data over here so do not close this window just click on app data and here you will find the local folder so open this local folder and then here you will find the origin folder so here you can see the origin folder make a right click then click on delete now it's deleted now close this and then restart your computer now after the restart try to launch origins so so make sure that you restart the computer after you delete all this folder and then try launching origin now you will see the login page so go ahead and log in to your origin account So here uh, I can see the log, uh, all the images and everything. Uh, it's uh, I don't face any grey or white screen. So that should fix the problem. Now in case still you are facing the problem, then you have to disable all the antivirus and control folder access. So if you have any kind of antivirus uh, installed in your computer, maybe Norton, AVG, Avast, any antivirus you have. Uh, so while launching Origin or while playing Origin games make sure that you disable your antivirus and then you can try launching the origin and you have to uh, go ahead and disable this control folder access if you are using windows security so just type in windows security in this is for windows uh, windows 10 users so just type in windows security in windows search box and then click on windows security then click on virus and threat, uh, threat protection scroll down here you will find ransomware protection click on manage ransomware protection and go, you have to go ahead and disable this control folder access so if it's on like this if it's on uh, you have to go ahead and toggle it off click on yes to allow and then turn off control folder access and then you can go ahead and try to launch origin now the next step is to run origin as an administrator to run origin as an admin you have to just type in origin in start menu or if you have origin on your desktop you can just use that exe file or just type in origin in windows search box and then click on open file location make a right click then click on open file location and then make a right click on origin and then select properties and then go to the compatibility tab then put a check on run this program as an administrator then click on apply then ok and then you can go ahead and launch origin now the next step is to disconnect your internet so if you have wi-fi you can go ahead and disconnect your wi-fi if you are using ethernet cable go ahead and disconnect the ethernet cable from the computer so i have wi-fi so i'll go ahead and disconnect it 
now once you click on disconnect uh, it may take a couple of seconds or once it's it is disconnected right now you can see it's disconnected I'm, I'm seeing the connect option so right now the internet is disconnected so after you disconnect then go to power icon then click on restart restart your computer now after the restart again go to the, your Wi-Fi click on the internet icon on the bottom right then select your Wi-Fi network and then click on connect automatically and then click on connect and in case you are using the Ethernet cable go ahead and plug in the Ethernet cable and then try launching origin now the next step is to perform clean boot to perform clean boot just uh, open the run box just type in run and then click on run box or you can just make a right click on the start menu then open the run box and type in msconfig msconfig so without any space so it's msconfig msconfig then click on ok then go to the services tab and put a check on hide all microsoft services so click on hide all microsoft services so once we put a tick over here then after that you have to disable all so once we select hide all microsoft services in that case if i disable it will not disable any kind of microsoft services and that will not you know go ahead and interfere with your microsoft services on uh, when you uh, restart your computer so just put a check on hide all microsoft services then click on disable all then click on apply and then click on ok and then restart your computer now also make sure that you disable all the background applications so just go to the windows 10 settings then go ahead and type in background apps click on background apps and then go ahead and turn this off so if this is on then go ahead and turn it off and also make sure that you disable all the startup programs so make a right click on your taskbar and then open task manager then go to the startup tab and then disable all the programs so over here in case uh, anything is enabled like this so in your in my case everything was disabled so in your case if it's enabled go ahead and select it and make a right click and click on disable then disable same way you disable all the programs even origin so in this case we will go ahead and when you do this uh, when you start the computer these programs will not run automatically so disable all the startup programs and then go ahead and try to launch your after the restart try launching origin the last step is to uninstall origin using revo uninstaller and then reinstall your origin so to install revo un uninstall just type in revo just type in revo uninstaller in google search then click on revo uninstaller free and download this uh, free software so this is free of cost uh, you will not be charged so just make sure that you download the free version of revo uninstaller so once you un uh, install it on your computer then open revo uninstaller on your computer now once you open this revo uninstaller you will see this screen and go ahead and find origin in the list here you can find origin then click on uninstall now it will go ahead and scan your computer now it's creating a re system restore point now you will receive this pop up so click on uninstall then click on next now the origin has been uninstalled click on finish now here you can see the moderate option is already selected so you have to click on scan let the scan complete it may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute so once uh, 
the scan is complete you have to select click on select all then click on delete this will get rid of all the leftover origin files so select all the files and then click on yeah and delete then click on yes then again click on select all then click on delete then yes and then restart your computer after that you have to restart your computer and then after the restart go to the start menu then click on restart and after you restart the computer then you can go to the google and just go ahead and download the origin once again now click on download and this troubleshooting for is for windows so you have to go ahead and download the windows version so once uh, the exe file is downloaded you have to go ahead and run this exe file and then install the latest version of origin and then you can go ahead and try launching the origin so one of the steps should definitely help you to resolve this uh, gray or white screen when you launch origin on your computer so that would be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel